This means it's very difficult for small teams to exist. We cannot have them cheap product and one dollar in response and also be giving a full page in the best colors, long uh, life, 100 year uh, inks. We cannot get this kind of quality for one dollar. And so I think uh, as I've been talking to people from India, more and more buyers and consumers now are saying, yes, I want the cheap product, but now quality now is becoming more important. I need this as well. So maybe I'm now prepared to pay $2 or $5 to get a more premium kind of product. So I think there are opportunities in India. Don't be, uh, don't be in a race to go to the bottom of the price because you're you know, the winner is the person who goes out of business. You cannot survive being the cheapest in the market all the time. Anyway, uh, I look forward to uh, uh, working with you. We have a good partnership together. I plan to be in India. Maybe if I can be in India early next year, we'll see how we go. We'll get some planning done and uh, see what opportunities there are. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, David. Thank you, thank you for your wonderful in the market. Uh, and for everyone. Uh, thank you. Thanks for your time. Uh, uh, now, uh, special agenda for this uh, panel to understand uh, what is the opportunity and uh, how the things we do in the India market and what is the opportunity to manufacture also. As uh, all we know about the uh, years, uh, more on the manufacturing part. So, let's we start our panel discussion. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, well, thank you for joining us and this session. Uh, so, uh, as you know, India is one of the uh, biggest market, and uh, as David said, India is the uh, fastest growing market. The price is different in the world. We stand for the price of the market. So, we want to understand uh, how the Indian market is growing and what are the opportunities and uh, uh, how the technology is changing as we are the one of the fastest growing market. So, let's start from uh, Sanjeev Ji, you are one of the veterans long time from the industry. Let's focus on how the Indian market is going, what are the new uh, After COVID, have you seen the new, what are the new opportunities and how the market is? The market in India has been market for the lowest period of COVID time. Luckily, in COVID time, we also we did not find the market crash like it happened in many other places. It only changed, changed from office printing to maybe no office printing, consumer printing, and the volumes did decline maybe 8 or 10 15 percent during the COVID year 22, 21, 22, and 23 has rebounded back to normal sales. Both our printer, new check, and laser printers have done well. Same the printer consumers, which also have seen the numbers go back to the normal levels. So I think we are back to the graph. Thank you. Uh, you are also market. I know the charts. How do you think that you can take on this? See, as for me, the market is still going. Maybe the pace has uh, come down. Still, it is going. I am, in fact, uh, I take this opportunity to tell you that based on this, we have expanded. We have expanded our capacity. In fact, now my capacity is now quite on So, this capacity we have increased, thinking, and we are sure that Indian market is going. So, we are very sure about it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, and also, I was So, as a brand, how do you talk to the Indian brand also and how do you have to build it? First of all, thank you, Mr. Swapman, and thank you, Marty Media, for giving me this opportunity. So, as a brand, I feel that uh, we really need to see what is that we want to sell. So, as far as the Indian country is concerned, we have got uh, good set up. We talk about our brand, our 
main focus is on quality and uh, we need to educate the customer that what exactly we are selling and uh, the awareness is most important for the life feed. So if you aware, uh, if you make the customer aware of the right kind of marketing, yes, then the difference between uh, what exactly we are selling and what exactly some people sell basically. So probably then they will come to the complaint they have. Get to know the difference. Yeah. What exactly uh, the PG and all those things we talk about. So that means I think it would be a good opportunity for all the brands. Because now after COVID, uh, we've seen a lot of growth. And overall, uh, what I feel that uh, the next coming year also, uh, we should grow at least by at least ten to fifteen percent. Since I want to understand, as if there is always a million to start with, like it's a big market, like a different one, when you do these things, how is the India world of India? How do you suggest that people do it in India? That is the same. So, a lot of 
acquires dangerous between or anything to see is more of a understanding. So to really understand the regional division in India between north, east, west, and south, from the OEM perspective, it is always the south of the use which is market, the bottom of the system that can happen uh, this is the time is given. So it is always better for us to have a panel here to make sure that the uh, regional is constant really make use of this. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. I guess I want to come back. Uh, I want to know uh, how much you need now to do this operation by the end of the spectrum. How much you need now to do this operation by the end of the spectrum. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, India government has a great opportunity as a result. The staff has improved the market has been the knowledge that has been clear about, right? Like the test really said that more people are trying to see the premium of the quality. So the quality the demand is going to be. So if you make the quality product definitely you're going to capture the market more and more. At the same time, you know, it's a price sensitive market as well. So we need to have the complete integration of the project on the side of the market and the Thank you. Uh, in our panel, I, I have one gentleman who actually directly connect with us uh, and he will the give uh, back to the community. I want to understand uh, especially uh, the connecting with the consumer. What is the consumer driven was see the change they have seen for the last decade What are the consumer changed? What are the new uh, consumer we have driven? What is that? Thank you, Mr. Saman, Mr. David, RT Media, for uh, giving me this opportunity to speak here in front of you. It's a pleasure to speak here. Uh, I want yeah. to share a very important point here. Like, uh, I have been for the last 20 years in this market for the real of the cartridge. And uh, uh, I have seen that it is not the uh, uh, customer. We need to go this market because we need to educate the customer. What is OEM and what is Vinyl? If we clearly make him understand that what he is getting in the OEM and what he is benefited with the remanufacturing, he will be able to accept the quality or whatever the quality is needed by the customer. If we can produce and give them according to his demand, then the market will be more stable for faster growing in the remanufacturing industry. What I have seen before, the customer is ignorant about the technology. We are expert in the technology. Customer is least bothered about what we do. He just needs the reason. But at the same time, if we educate him that what he is getting at a lesser price and what quantity his output is getting after the real factory, he will have a mindset okay, this is who we are giving me this volume and this is the real factory giving me this volume. And this is kind of the value of the volume. Then the customer will always have a mindset that yes, we are. There is a very big reason for some customer using the OEM then start with the remanufacturing and after again after the remanufacturing they shift it to the OEM. If we target that point, then why the customer we shift it to the OEM after the remanufacturing? If we educate him with the the customer will go back to the remanufacturing. Everyone wants the cost reduction, not at the cost of quality, not at the cost of headaches. Not at the cost of problem. Customer don't want to buy the problem paying the money. They want easiness in their business. So in this way, like you know, it's a, uh, like a service provider like me, before giving the services to any customer, I educate him first that what I am going to give and how you are getting benefited. That is only once in the time. The customer I talk 20 years back, I took him to talk him again. He is continued to be my customer for last 20 years because I educated him for last 20 years back. That is how I made my thousand customers stable customer with me. I think if this process is followed by everyone, we can have a very bigger and uh, faster growing market. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, it's, it's clear that if the uh, consumer ready to pay, we have to give the winner quality because that's the main thing. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, if 
Y sé que tú tienes algo que tú te presentas. Pues yo te presento ese modo. Still, 
all the way to each other and uh, all the corner boxes have been made in India. Uh, so, it's already really good. She's talking about it. And I'm sure you know that the country was on this one. Some of the corners are fine. Most of them are making it in India. A lot of the time, they're really good. Yeah. 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 Ye
that's a big, you know, affiliation which is going from uh, you know, the middle class and the higher middle class. So the opportunity is enormous. Yeah, uh, what is the most important thing? How do you see the Indian government? Globally, most of them are talking about the decline in their uh, economic and uh, some kind of uh, situation. Currently, uh, India seems to be getting in And it uh, looks like uh, the situation is good at this moment. Of course, no one can uh, predict the future. Currently, it looks very good. And the Trump uh, has been tremendous. And the second half uh, looks uh, rather, I'm sure. So based on this, the situation looks very important. Thank you. Good. I also agree that the market has a vast potential, but what we most of the factories or people have an understanding that price is the only correct on there. It's a field that has changed drastically in the past two years. The demand and quality. The price should not be high but competitive when we can find the good in the market. What I see in India, for oh, as our Prime Minister said, we have to be the third economy. Now we are in the fifth position. So if you see last view, if you go back, see 20 years back, the ease of doing business was a major issue in India, now, which is to large extent has been sorted out. I see a big opportunity and more than that. The major uh, thing is our large population is young, so which is a big, big advantage for us. I see a big future for India, and I am very confident that we will be the number three in the world. So, as a whole, India is the biggest market for the world, and we will be the hub for the world. Of course, the market of course is going to be bigger and bigger every year. That's uh, India's project is going to continue. It is always the question that as India knows the market, we will put itself in the market. We are going to put it in the market. It is an even bigger market. It encourages manufacturing to become larger scale and more value added to the market in India. And that is likely to happen because the market is very big. And the cost of the market is so it becomes even better to do that. Thank you. I see a very great reform of pandemic in the India market and uh, I think uh, if everyone focus upon on the costing instead of cost. Instead of price tag, if you can help how to reduce the costing, irrespective of the price tag, will be the most successful for the Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before I close, uh, I want to take one take from David. David, uh, I need one to take from you also. Uh, as you uh, have already discussed that India has a big opportunity for the manufacturing, how can India and China can this point? Uh, India and China can be both work in terms of uh, uh, exchanging the technology, a uh, lot of manufacture here, yeah, looking forward to GB on the uh, technology part. We have the market, we have the uh, expertise, but we need some technology support. So, how we can work uh, India and China in the technology part? That's a good question. And uh, I was happy that we might have some more of the Chinese players. To listen to uh, this forum today, so we've recorded it, so we'll be passing it on. I like your comments about becoming the third power at the table. You know, uh, India is going to, uh, I absolutely believe that India is going to be the third member of the table, maybe even the second member of the table that has the potential. So uh, I think uh, it's certainly important now to start developing strategic. Alliances and relationships with other members of the table, particularly China. 
So it's a matter of sitting down and saying, what could be a win-win solution? What can the Chinese do about Because when you think about uh, all their evolving technology, uh, from making the machines, the automation, all those sort of things, China leads the world in this kind of technology. So what you need to be doing is talking to uh, companies here in China and saying, what can we do to make this a win-win situation, a win-win for China and a win-win for India so that we can profit together. And uh, I, I believe that each of you here have the capacity and the capability to be talking to your Chinese counterparts here and say, look, maybe there are some things that you manufacture and we will assemble in India. Maybe there are some things that we will manufacture in India that we can assemble in China. And so it's a two-way street for, for both countries. Um, I really believe you've got to start the conversation. I think having a forum here at this event is a good start. I think we need to bring some of these Chinese companies to India to meet with you as well and start the conversation and start, and start this happening. But uh, there's no threat here. It's all opportunity. It's not about you know, Tony companies in India coming in and taking the Tony, you know, uh, uh, in China coming and capturing the Tony markets in, in India. It's working out what, how can we cooperate? What can we manufacture in India? And what can you supplement from China to make us stronger in both countries? I think uh, do not consider yourself as a junior partner either. You have got a lot of expertise to add and bring to the table. There is expertise that the Chinese will want to get hold of and you can partner with them with that. So you come as equals to the table. Please do not consider yourself in this industry to be the poor cousin because you're not. Many of you here have spoken very proudly today of the wonderful uh, tradition that you've got in India and the expertise and the opportunities that exist. Hang on to those, believe in those, move forward with those, and make sure that you work on develop alliances with good strategic alliances with Chinese companies so that you can grow strongly together. I don't know if you agree or disagree, but that's my opinion. Yeah, 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 definitely, and uh, it's a wonderful, David Fogel, wonderful thought. And uh, I want to announce also that if you allow me, uh, we can also help as the RT Media and even Solution. Why don't we help them? From the India, we can bring one collaboration with the tank. We can do that. Uh, thanks for the support, and we can help the industry. Thank you.